Se fue por el Dairen. Dairen. Sí, ah, gracias y... a Dios. Llegó sano y salvo. <risa> Good morning from Coloncito. It's six in the morning. Uh, we prepared really quickly uh, because we are going to leave early today because the sun is too hot for Timo, for me. And we are going to cycle to San Juan de Colón. That's 50 kilometers. So we have to cycle 22 kilometers on a sort of plain road to La Fria. And then we have to cycle up. So we have one hour to get to La Fria. And after that, yeah, we have to cycle up to the mountains. Uh, this is Idar. Mucho gusto, Ida, y muchas gracias que yo podía uh, quedar en tu casa. And Ida is also a cyclist. As you can see, this is his bicycle. And they are going to cycle to Cúcuta today. To a Cúcuta, ¿sí? ¿Y cuántas horas necesitas? Dos horas y media. Dos horas y media. Ah, muy rápido. Atle atletos. Uh, and this is the casa uh, where I stayed. I will show you quickly around. Uh, because we have to leave. Uh, but this is where he puts his bicycles, his motors, a uh, sort of living room with two couches. And this is the place where I slept. Air conditioning, really nice. Bed, everything I need um, when I need to sleep. In the back, we have the shower. It was an interesting shower this time. So if I can show you. Yeah, so this is the shower. So you use this thing, you stand here and you can just throw water uh, throw water on your head. Um, there is enough water, so yeah, that's for me that was really luxurious <laughs> because sometimes you just get like one bucket of water. Um, and yeah, that's not sufficient to shower yourself. Uh, this is the kitchen, that's, that's like a big place for cars. Um, so yeah, let's go outside because Ida also needs to leave. Adios Ida. Hasta luego. Tu también, mucha suerte a Cucuta. Ciao. And we are off. The temperature is better today, or at this hour. So we are going to take advantage of that. So let's get to the principal road and see you on the road today to San Juan de Colón. So I stayed for two nights in Coloncito, in the house of Ida. I didn't film anything in Coloncito. Yesterday I rested the whole day in his house because I was really tired of the day cycling to Coloncito. And one of the reasons for that is that I start always too late, always around nine o'clock. When you start around nine o'clock, then the sun will burn like crazy. And that makes yeah, the road, the yeah, cycling on the road more difficult for me, for Chimo. And yeah, when you're suffering, then you can't really enjoy the views yeah, of the beautiful nature of this region. And Tachira is the state in Venezuela with the most cyclists. Tachira is really famous for La Vuelta de Tachira. That's like a yeah, big, uh, big e cycling event with a lot of good cyclers. Um, and they are, it's like the Tour de France in France where they are going to cycle like a big route. And a lot of good cyclists are yeah, participating in that, uh, in that event. I'm part of a group, Ciclismo Fronterizo. And this group is helping me with cycling in the state of Tachira. So now I have a lot of contacts in each city in Tachira. And when I'm in San Juan de Colón, one guy named Edison is going to, going to help me 
you have to find a cheap posada there those guys are really helpful because they give me advice of how to cycle where to stay what not to do and when you're going to cycle in venezuela in the state of tachira yeah this cyclist group can really help you out if you don't want to cycle alone in the state of tachira so today i will reach the city of san juan de colon and tomorrow we will cycle to san cristobal and san cristobal is the capital city of the tachira state there i will have an interview with the venezuelan television like a national tv program and we are going to rest a bit there i have a contact there benjamin and i can stay in his house for a couple of days and i can also stay in a really beautiful posada and when we are in san cristobal i will also show you um, but as you can see the sun is coming up so we have to keep going to be as soon as possible in the mountains because when we are in the mountains yeah the temperature will drop and that's better to cycle of course so let's go Hello, buenos dias. So to the right we can go to La Fria, but we have to keep going straight because we have to go to San Cristobal in the end. And San Juan de Colón is on the road to San Cristobal. Tienes wifi también? Ah, bueno. Eso es frío. Sí. Muy frío. Gracias, gracias. ¿Y el perrito dónde lo consiguió? El perrito. Ela é venezolana. Sim? Sim, venezolana. Tá lindo, mire. Sim. Ela gosta, pensa que... Sim, onde descansa? Eu descansei aí. Cerca aqui? Sim. Em San Félix aqui? Como dois minutos ao baixo. Descansou? Sim. E quando ele cai na noite, o que faz? Sim, eu fui a Colón. Está tratando de chegar a Colón e descansar em Colón. Descansar em Colón e amanhã foi a São Cristóbal. Nome de Deus, e para São Cristóbal. São Cristóbal, sim. Sí. Muita ah, subida? Sim, sí, sempre subida. Sempre, porque foi... Bom, bueno, de Colón para allá há um pouquinho de, já de, de, plan, de planera. Isso não é planera, sim? Sí? Não, isso já é em colina. De aqui para chegar a Colón, ainda falta colina. Ah, sim. Sí. Okay. Pero así como va, va bien poco a poco. Muchas ciclistas aquí. Sí, hoy sí. No, aquí se entrena. Esto es para entrenamiento. Llegan a Colón, vuelo y se bajan. Y después. Y son de Coloncito, son de La Fría. La Fría. La Fría aquí mismo cerca. No sé si pasó por sí, La Fría. Sí, yo estuve ¿Entró? en Col Coloncito esta mañana. ¿Estaba en Coloncito esta mañana? Esta mañana, sí. Y le echa, le echa pierna. Yo empecé a las 7 de la mañana. ¿Empecé siete, a las 7 de la siete, mañana? Siete, sí, sí, sí. Okay, so we are going to eat some papa rellena, that's like filled potato. Sí. Y eso es salsa de qué? Salsa tartara. Ah, Esto es lleva puro, puro, ah, puro ajo, ah, cilantro, ajo. cilantro y ah, un poquito bueno. pimentón. So this is inside of the papa rellena, and he just gave it to me for Timo. And Timo, of course, really likes this. Timo, Timo, okay. Yeah, so uh, we still need to cycle around 12 kilometers to San Juan de Colón. And then we arrive there, then we are going to rest there. And then we are going to continue the journey tomorrow to San Cristobal. It's now 10 a.m. in the morning. So I have a lot of time to get to San Juan de Colón for 12 kilometers. So I can make a lot of stops and I can cycle really slow to, uh, to there. So let's try the papa rellena. So it's like a big potato filled with uh, carne. I didn't bring food today and there were almost no like food stands on the road. Mm. Mm. Tranquilo, mi pana. Tranquilo. Muy bueno. Sabroso, todo fresquecito el día. Mm. Son papitas rellenas, muy natural, muy de aquí de nuestra Venezuela. Lo bueno ahorita es que todo Venezuela está muy bien. Para estos lados no, ya, no, ya no existe que se... Ese ladronismo, así nada, nada. 
No es seguro. Sí. sí. Ahorita aquí para allá es muy seguro. Colón, aquí San Cristóbal, sí, aquí es muy seguro. Mm. Quizás a lo mejor también tiene que ver mucho que los malandros emigraron. Sí, a Colombia. Sí, están, en Colombia sí hay, hay peligro. Mucho. Hay mucho, allá hay mucha inseguridad. Sí. Por parte del, del, del mismo a veces el venezolano mm. que no quiere trabajar, que le gusta la vida fácil. Pero no somos todos, créanme. Todos hay muchos venezolanos, más del 90% somos bueno. trabajadores, buena Como gente, club. honestos. Yo soy natal de, de La Fría. ¿Y cómo es la vida en La Fría? Es dura, es dura, dura pero como en todo país. Mm. Hay que trabajar, buscar la manera. Lo único que sucede es que como no hay mucha fuente de empleo, pues toca todo informal. Sí. Todo es en, emprendimiento. Todo lo que tenemos que hacer ahorita el venezolano es emprendimiento. Infor, informal le llamamos a eso. O sea, no es nada que estemos registrados. No es algo así bien bonito, nada. Entonces ya van, también aprenden a buscar inversionistas. O tienen familiares en el extranjero que ayudan a invertir. ¿Tú tienes? No, tengo. Sí tengo, perdón, mi hermano. Tengo un hermano, sí. ¿Dónde? Tengo un hermano en Estados Unidos. Yeah. Está en Chicago. ¿Y cuando él, es... él Él ya tiene nueve meses haber migrado hacia allá. ¿Nueve meses? ¿Con uh, Solo, da, se fue solo. Darien. Se fue por el Dairén. Darien. Sí, ah, gracias y, a Dios, y, llegó sano y salvo. ¿Y cómo estuvo él con coyotes? Contó que, él nos contó que fue muy duro. ¿Con coyotes? Sí, él gastó un coyote, él gastó dos mil o mil quinientos dólares por, con el coyote ya estando en México. Pero él se quedó sin dinero y llegó a México. Y en México él duró cuatro a seis meses, duró trabajando en México. ¿Trabajando? Sí, le tocó trabajar y ahorrar y echarle piernas para seguir adelante. Muchas gracias. Que esté bien. Brian, bien. hasta Brian. luego. Sí. Y cuando estoy en San Félix, San yo te Félix, llamo. Táchira. Ok, chao. 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 Let's go to San Juan de Colón. We took a break of maybe one hour or more. And we are now going to cycle 12 kilometers up the hill, really slow. So we maybe need one hour, 30 minutes, two hours, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take it really, uh, really slowly. This is like the second break after we ate some uh, papa rellena. Um, I just spoke with the guys of that shop and they told me that I have to cycle three kilometers more and there is a river where I can swim. It's a bit more cloudy right now, so that's really good. And I think we are going to take a dip in that river uh, to yeah, refresh a bit. Um, and yeah, we maybe cycled two, three kilometers after uh, the Papa Rellena restaurant because the road is really steep. Um, but yeah, let's cycle to the river and let's see if we can take a dip there because that's what we really need right now. Okay, the clouds were only here for like two minutes. But yeah, I see that we can go down finally. Hopefully we don't need to climb a lot, but let's see. Because it's really unpredictable here. It's in incredibly mountainous. Woo. The advantage of going up is that you always go down. The start is a bit hard, but then it goes like woo. Okay, so we reached to a point where there is a river, but yeah, it's too difficult to go down. I think we need to cycle a bit more and then hopefully we can find a river where we can swim a bit. But this is too difficult with the bicycle, etc. Because it takes too much time to go there. So let's, uh, yeah, let's continue the journey and hopefully we can find another river in which it's easier to swim and to go down as well. And going up again. 
fin is always really short. We finally arrived in the village of San Juan de Colón. Yo amo Colón. Now it's time to look for a hotel and maybe drink something. So let's uh, let's drink something, look for a cheap posada, and then we see each other in the city of San Juan de Colón. So we just arrived at this motel. I'm going to check what the price is. Hopefully it's cheap and they accept the door. But I don't see any people. Ah, okay. So they have a carport as well, yeah, motel. But let's see if there's someone here. No. I also checked at another hotel, it was $10. They didn't accept the dog. Ah, there's the lady. Hola, señora. Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cuánto cuesta una noche en tu motel? 30 mil pesos. Ah, 12 bueno. horas. 12 oh, horas. oh, yo necesito uh, 20. Hasta mañana. So they are charging $8 for 12 hours. So 24 hours is like $16. We want mo something more cheap because I'm not going to stay in a really dirty motel for $16. We had like posadas for $12 and they were really good. So let's uh, check another place. So we found another place, 50,000 Colombian pesos. So that's like $12. And this should be a really yeah, comfortable hotel. So let's see. <laughs> Muchos invitados? Muy poco. Poco, poco. Ah, bueno, bueno. <laughs> and with the dog it's uh, possible. Muchas gracias. Que puedo traer mi perro. Ah. Bueno. Yo lo he visto. En bicicleta? ¿Tú sigues Venezuela cerca? Creo que sí. Ah, sí. Posible. Mucho <laughs> gusto. Mucho gusto. Roger, Roger, mucho gusto. So we are fresh again. We are going to the city center of San Juan de Colón. We found a hotel for $12 per night. Really big room, air conditioning, everything I need to rest and to continue the journey tomorrow to San Cristobal. We are going to walk to the city center because they have a big event there. They are celebrating that the village exists. A lot of people are in the city center. Uh, so yeah, it's time to explore San Juan de Colón. So join me and let's explore the city of San Juan de Colón. Hola, señor. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cuánto cuesta un uh, sombrero? Ahí tengo de 40, 50, 60, 80, es como le guste. ¿Y, sí, pues. ¿Y son, eso es hecho en Venezuela o es hecho en Colombia? Eso es en Colombia. ¿Cómo? Hecho en Colombia. Aquí en Venezuela no hacemos nada. <laughs> ok. Yeah, so I saw this guy and he has like a lot of heads. Tiene así uh. este que usted lo puede enrollar. Ah, es muy tradicional. Ah, ah, sí, pero un sombrero como eh, blanco. Ah, blanco. Un poco más, eh, sí. Eso es muy llanero. Ah, wow. Well, well, this is a really nice hat. Eso es cuánto? 50. Cin 50. It's really good. Monarcos. Para los que saben usar la cabeza. Ah, si yo necesito usar mi cabeza. Okay. Yeah, so I really like hats, but I'm not traveling in a way that I can buy a lot of like things. I already have the dog and he grows like really fast. So like every week I have to carry new kilos on my bicycle. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Sí me come. Uh, we are almost in the city center, but it's a bit slow with the dog. So uh, yeah, for you, uh, 
it's only a couple of seconds uh, till we are there so see you there so i think you can't really see it but on this banner yeah i can see that there are a lot of like local music artists so uh, yeah, I think we are going to listen to some local music, local uh, colonial, colo San, San Juan de Colonial music. And the problem with this puppy, he wants to smell everything. I think that's with every puppy. So it's sometimes really difficult to walk with him. But when I'm start, when I'm going to run, he's also going to run because he always follows me. So as you can see a lot of people are yeah, on the streets of San Juan de Colón and uh, this is a place where I'm going to buy some beer and then we are going to try to find the center because yeah I think this is the center but there are no places to eat something or I don't see the shops of the festival and the cantantes también. Uh, so let's buy some beer and let's continue the journey. Uh, muchas gracias. Yeah, so this is the place where the local village festival starts. It looks more like a lot of drinking on the streets, a lot of music. Uh, but let's see if we can also eat something here. Ciclismo fronterizo. Si. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. hay aquí? Mañana no. No. Yo estuve en mi uh, hotel. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó aquí? ¿Qué pasa? Oye, aquí. feria, 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 feria. Feria sobre qué? Carnaval. Solo <risa> uh, tomar. Esa. Feria de tomar. ¿Qué? ¿Qué es eso? Dame un guaro ahí. ¿Qué? ¿Puedes? Uh... Venga para acá. ¿Y qué es eso? Dame ahí, tanta la aquí, mire y tele. Uh, ah, bueno. El pinche ahí, ¿eh? Okay, vamos. Sangre. Pero qué bebida? La bebida, miche, miche. Miche. Licor, licor. Es ron, ron con Coca-Cola. Ron, oh, ron cola. Ron buena. cola, buena. ¿Cuándo se va de acá? ¿Cuándo se va? Uh, yo voy mañana a San Cristóbal. Mañana va a Cristóbal. San Cristóbal, sí. ¿A qué hora? Uh, yo pienso que a las seis, uh, seis y media. Ah, ya no estamos volteados nosotros. Sí. <laughs> Miren. Yeah, so those guys are Edison and this is like almost a professional cyclist. Um, so this is a friend of the guys I met in Coloncito. They're all part of the same cyclist group in Tachira. So that's a really big network of people who love to cycle in Venezuela and also Colombia. Hola, mucho gusto. Holandés. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, vamos. Yeah, Viene yeah. Holanda andando de bicicleta por todo gusto? el país. Hey. 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 Viene Holanda andando de bicicleta por todo el país. Sí. Está ganando todo, ¿no? ¿Qué necesitas? ¿Qué hora llegó? ¿Tienes? Una cerveza. Sí, sí, tienes. Sí, claro. <risa> Gracias. Dele para que fuera, dele para que fuera. que te mueva. Oh, esta. Esta. Ok, Seis, bueno. Polar, polar. Yo. Mi pana está dando una polar. Venga, para que conozca una familia. Ah, sí, bueno, vale. Venga. Eso es tu familia. Sí, esta. Ah, bueno. Papá. Hola. Él viene de Holanda. ¿Quién es tu papá? Mi papá. Mucho gusto. Yo voy a Miguel. Roger, Roger. Todo mi familia, mi tío. Todos mis primos. Mucho gusto. Hoy empiezan la feria de San Juan de Colón. Hoy, hoy. ¿Y por cuántos días? Diez días. Diez días. Hoy era el desfile de feria. Y toda la gente de San Juan de Colón va a tomar en la calle. La mayoría, hay muchos que no toman. ¿Tú? Yo, yo no tomo. Yo no, ¿No? ¿A ciclista? Yes. Ah, claro, claro, claro. Ese es el cerro del morrachón, aquel que está. Ah, un cerro. to find a more quiet place for Chimo and we also need to find something to eat donde podemos comer algo como cochino cochino quiere comer cochino 
Ahí o no. Uy, a esta hora no sé si haya, pero. So, eso es Elvis. Elber is also part of the cyclist group and we are going to eat some Perros Calientes here. Yo quiero uno, por favor. Con, con toro. Con toro, sí. So this is the Perros Calientes. Esta buena? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Ciclista también. Ah. Muchas ciclistas aquí. En Colón sí, bastante. Mucho. Mucha fiesta también. Mucha fiesta también. Ok, so let's try the perros calientes. Oh. Always really difficult to eat. But the taste is good. And some papelón. Papelón is like sugar cane. Uh, Sugar with some lemon. So this is the place where the mayor of the city is, the alcalde. They are like dancing salsa and bachata. It's really difficult to film, but yeah, this is like the main square. Of San Juan de Colón. Okay. And now there's like a sort of karate show with like a local local karate club. So this is like the bandera of Colón. It's the colors. Verde, rojo y amarillo. Verde, rojo, amarillo. Ah, Venezuela, Santiago. Tachira. 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 Yeah. Tachira. Sancos. 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 ¿Qué es Sancos? ¿Qué Son... significa? Eh, como, como unos tacones altos. Es aquí. Aquí. Solo son cuando color. En Venezuela. Ah, Venezuela. Muy peligroso para bailar con estas cosas. So this is like a sort of farmer's dance with like typical farmer's music of San Juan de Colón. So we are back in the Posada, we left the party behind, the people in the village are going to continue till 10 or 11 in the morning and they are going to party for 5 days straight, so that's crazy. We met a lot of interesting people in the village, we met the major of the city as well, but we have to leave tomorrow, we are not going to stay for any longer in this village because we are heading to San Cristobal, the capital of the state of Tachira. I'm not cycling alone, we are going to cycle with a group of people from this village and tomorrow morning we are going to have breakfast in the house of Juan Paulo um, and we are going to leave at around 6.30, 7 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to sleep right now and see you tomorrow on the road to San Cristobal.